Hello. You know what? Let me sit, turn you around. I want to get the back of your shirt. It proved that. It proved that. That Edward shirt. It's a good side. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I've been here. My back side is a good side. <laughs> That's great. Thanks. Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, I am arrayed here with representatives of the San Francisco House, the Los Angeles House, and the Boston House. We are a 45-year-old global order of queer drag dons who promulgate universal joy, expiate stigmatic guilt, and we honor those in the community who uplift us with their words and actions. And we are here today to honor Ed Wood with sainthood. And he was kind of a controversial nominee when I put him up, and I think it's because for a lot of people, he's a joke, he's a punchline. He made terrible, terrible movies, amazingly bad movies, but he also, his first movie took the Christine Jorgensen story and he turned it into a biopic where he came out as a transvestite to his wife, playing his wife in the movie, and Bela Lugosi played God. But it was also a very brave and kind of pedantic and unwatchable confession. But it was beautiful. It was beautiful. And he continued to make movies and throw himself at it where other people would have given up. And for me, the beauty of Ed Wood is that he proves if you are passionate about something and you're driven to do it, you can totally suck at it. And you can die in obscurity and sad. And, and people might still be talking about you and making movies about you and books. 50 years later, you might have all of these people lining up to honor you. So with that in mind, we are graced by the presence of Bob Blackburn, the co-executor of Ed Wood's estate, who first gave us the Ed Wood tour here on Yucca Boulevard in beautiful downtown Hollywood. As Sister Vina Sinfers of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, it is my duty, honor, and privilege to proclaim Ed Wood St. Angora the Audacious, the spectacular martyr to the creative urge and patron saint of hopeless causes. It is decreed that from this day forward, his transgression shall be reduced to mere fluff in the eyes of the goddess who knows all and forgives all. His good works and his movies will live in honor and in perpetuity. He shall forever stand as a pillar of strength in the community and gobble gobble one of us. He is part of the order of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. My sisters, please. Amen. Amen. Our women. Our women. All the rest of us. All the rest of us. Gobble gobble. Gobble gobble. Speech. Speech. I want to accept this honor for both Edward D. Wood Jr., a.k.a. Shirley, oh, Shirley, who, if he was here today, would be one of you. Absolutely. Shirley, he would. <laughs> Shirley, yes. And also, on behalf of his widow, Kathy Wood, my friend, the neighbor, who would be laughing her head off at the beautiful absurdity of this moment and with that, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to all of you and to everyone for this honor. Hey. You got holy water. The blessing. Holy water. Ah, the blessing. Yeah. Cameraman, get in on this. You got a blessing. Just a little bit of blessed. Blessed. 
the continuing blessing of Ed's work that remains with us is that as controversial as the content of the content may be, the quality is up for discussion. But here you cannot deny that a man put forth his imagination with queerness and with confidence and boldness, as if to say to all ages, go out and be as weird and wonderful and imaginative as you care to be. It doesn't matter how good it is. You just make your own room in the world for yourself and that makes room for other people. Part of why I am this today is because when I was 13, I saw Plan 9 from Outer Space and it made me feel like there was room for my imagination as weird as my imagination is. So thank you, Ed, for making room in the world for me. May your films always continue to make room in the world for people with wild imaginations. Hear, hear. Hear, hear. Anyone else? Come on, someone else? Something to say? Bella Lugosi was fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> he would have done something like this had he been here. I think we can all say the sacred mantra, he surely would. He surely, he would. surely would. He surely, he surely would. would. He, surely would. Surely surely. <laughs> he oh. comma, surely would.